What's happening guys? This is week number five, last circuit of the week. I really hope you guys, I talk about this in the next one, I hope you guys join me for the next five weeks. Um, I said I was going to do three weeks, thought about it, but I'm just gonna stick with five. You guys, you know, um, I oftentimes see um, a, like a dive down during week three, but then some of you guys just kind of started about week two or week three, because it kind of took a minute to get the groove in. So I'm really, really um, confident that you guys can stick to the next five weeks. It's starting the first full week of October. Um, Cause this is finishing, um, I'm sorry. So October 11th, whatever week that is. Um, and then it's gonna carry us through for five weeks. <laughs> I haven't really mapped it out yet. But I know you guys can commit to five weeks. It's 25 workouts. Um, if you guys are doing three workouts, you guys are doing 15. Um, but I know you guys can do it. So stick with me. Let's do the next five weeks. Let's beat that holiday weight gain, okay? Um, so I'm gonna get right into the description. I'm kneeling because I moved my camera down in the middle of the workout. Um, I did not plug my microphone in, so it's not gonna be as easy to hear me, but you'll still hear me. Um, you're gonna need a chair and a set of dumbbells. That's it. Okay, so circuit number one, you're gonna do chair squats. You're literally going to sit on your chair and stand. Sit, stand, sit, stand. Um, if you have a box or a bench, that works perfect. Um, then you're gonna do squats. Squat, thrust, deadlift. I did them on that chair. So that's when you go all the way down. You guys know what this is. We might have done them this week. And then stand up, pick up your weights, deadlift for 10. And then you're going to take your dumbbells and you're going to do alternating supinated curl. Okay, that is where your arms are to your side and you turn it up, turn it up. Okay, and curl up. Okay, um, after that, you're going to go to circuit number two. This is where we went to the floor. We're doing closed grip push ups. So we're working our triceps. I do these on my knees, okay? Hands in nice and close here. Your arms are touching your side each time. Core nice and tight. You want to do 10 of those. Some people like to do them like this, like Blake always likes to correct me. He's like, I like to do diamond push-ups. So you can do them here and keep your um, hands to your chest. Now, if you can't do them on the floor, that's okay. Not everybody can, I couldn't for a long time. Um, you're just gonna take, you can go on your knees. Here, just make sure you just keep your elbows in nice and tight. If that's too hard on your knees, you can do it against the wall. Let's see if I can show you the wall here. Um, and we do these with beginner clients, um, even patients. Um, Debbie, the exercise specialist, sometimes she does her workouts with us here. Um, she can do have patients do these push-ups against the wall um, that are just getting started. So you're just here and you're pushing through. Make sure you keep your core nice and tight so you have a nice flat abs. Okay, and you're just pushing up. Okay, so that's the beginner. Um, so you can do those. Those are for 10. And then you're gonna grab your dumbbells, kneeling chicken laterals, short arm laterals um, for your shoulders, um, side of your shoulders. Here, up. Okay, keep them this way. Palms are moving. <sighs> traps are down, so you're not doing this. Okay, make sure your traps are down. Um, and then you're going to go into mountain climbers. Keep your hands on the dumbbells on the floor if you can. I couldn't do mountain climbers my last set. My hips didn't want to, so I just did jumping jacks. Um, right after that, you're gonna go into straight leg donkey kicks. Preferably, keep your hands on the dumbbells. I did this, I think, one set like this. Ooh, it's hard. Um, and then you're just gonna keep your body in that plank position here, and you're lifting up, squeezing glutes. Okay, you're doing 10 on each side. I can't do any more, because it's sore, and it hurts in a good way. All right, and then you're going to do rainbow leg lifts. This is a fun one. This is something I picked up from physical therapy um, just to keep my, the integrity of my joint well. You guys know I have arthritis, hip labor tears, blah, all the things. So um, joint integrity is very important to me um, through nutrition and exercise. However, this is a rainbow leg lift. So you're just moving your foot up and over. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, we've done these before if you don't remember. Okay, up, over, up. Over my hip is touching the ground each time. If you have to do these on a bench, that's okay. You can do them. Just make sure it's just a tiny little movement. You can just put a little weight behind you if you want to go up and over. If you can't remember, but it's a rainbow leg lift. Every time you move your leg back and forth is one. So one, two, three, four, all the way to 10. Um, you're gonna do 10 on each side, and then you go right back to the close grip push-ups. After that, circuit number three, Last circuit of the day, last circuit of this set of workouts for week number five. Um, we're doing a three combination of actually four exercises. So you're doing a row, row, 
deadlift, hammer curl, press. So it looks like this, you're doing 10, it takes a minute to do it. Curl or row, deadlift, curl, press. Go light if you need to, so you can keep your form and keep a decent speed. So hips hinge, bend, soft athletic bend in my knees, row for your back, elbows in tight, put them back down, one movement, deadlift, squeeze, okay. Next movement, that's two. Three movement, hammer curl, elbows by your side. Fourth movement, press up, come back down. I'm not shifting my body all around, I'm controlling each one. Okay, ready? So we go one, 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 one. Okay, and then you go back down, go right into that hinged hip. After that, you're gonna take your one dumbbell and do a single arm kickback, same hinged hip, or you can lean here if you need to, like you're doing a row, and you're just gonna keep that elbow up. Okay, elbow is your hinge there, squeeze the back of your arm, tricep, okay, and do the next side. 10 on each side. Um, and then you're doing standing donkey kicks. Use a fabric or a rubber band, or a rubber band, little rubber bands, nylon bands, um, and the small ones around your ankles if you can, or if you have a cable system at home um, to do weights, or if you're doing these at the gym, um, you can do that, and you're just kicking up. Two, three, four, all the way to 10, keeping my core nice and tight, keeping all the work in my bootay, okay? Squeezing up, 10 on each side, and move right back into the row deadlift. It was a great workout, great way to finish. Week number five, exercise. Day number five, week number five. Hope you join me for the next one. Most of you guys have already signed up, and I'm so grateful that you're here. Congratulations on taking time for yourself and all the cheesy things to say. So, but I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Have a great workout.